Welcome back. One of the things that often happens in adventure games is that buckets can, and other items can be picked up and they can be carried around. So I'd like us to be able to do that in our game. So here we've got the cell room and inside it is the bucket. And you'll notice there's all sorts of tabs along here. Now, these give you different options and under the inventory tab it says object can be taken. So, when I say object can be taken, like this, it says after taking object I can add a new script. And when I drop the object, I can add a new script. So I can make different things happen there if I want to add a script. Because I've just ticked this box, I can now take bucket. And what you'll see is I've taken the bucket. And if I look around, you'll see that the bucket has disappeared from the description. And in fact, it's in my inventory here. And I can still look at the bucket and it carries everything with it. It says what a smell. So I'm going to stop that and I'm going to do uh, something different. So I'm going to go to the uh, chapel and I'm going to go to the room and I'm going to put a script on the room description here. And I can run a script that, for example, will say, if I scroll down, where is it? Objects. Where's it gone? Sorry, if. That's what I need. So I'm going to say if. And instead of expression, I'm going to say player is carrying object. Bucket. Then I can then add a script here that says print a message. And it will say that bucket is really smelly. Good. So now I can run my game and hopefully if I leave the bucket where it is and go south. And then if I go south again, I'm in the chapel and nothing's happening in the chapel. I'm going to go to north and north. And then I'm going to take the bucket. So I can click on the bucket here and I can click take or I can write in here take bucket. There we are. And now I can go south. And when I go south again, you can see that the room is script is now sensing that I'm holding the bucket and it's printing out the message that I want. You can do all sorts with this kind of thing. So, for example, you could have an object that is a key. And if you come into the same room as a door, then you could say that the door unlocks this kind of thing. So there's all sorts you can get on with here and you can use that to enhance your game. Next time, I'll be showing you how to manipulate some more things in the objects that you have in your possession.